up guys, Beaker here. Today I have the gun build up, as I'm calling it. And uh, it was the very first clip in my uh, crazy edit thingy, and it looked like this. And then it goes boom! Boom! And stuff. So I'm going to teach you how to make all these cool pieces and have it build up and cool stuff. And yeah, so I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Just delete this layer and delete these thingies. Delete. So you're going to have a couple clips. And uh, let me fix this opacity as well. So I just have this clip twixtered and it waits until a few seconds and then it just goes boom into the next clip. Next clip. So here's what we're going to do. We need to find a, a spot that we want the main um, picture to come from. So typically pretty close to the beginning of the twixter right here so we can have it build together and then have it twixter a little bit. So somewhere over here. What I need to do is actually duplicate this layer. Oh, what happened? Oops. No. Duplicate the layer. And we need to take off the twixter, so just delete that. And um, this is kind of hard, but we need to find a, pic um, a frame that's pretty close to the one underneath. So that's that'll be close enough right here. So what we do is right-click, time, and freeze the frame. So we need this frozen picture here. So we'll go ahead and pre-compose this. Pre-compose. We're going to move all the attributes, and we're going to call this the gun buildup. Okay? And then we'll double-click, go into that comp. We'll go ahead and slide this over and extend it out. So it's just one long picture. Okay? Now we need to mask out the gun or whatever we want to build up. So we could just, you know, do this guy or something. But uh, I'm going to do the gun. So we're going to get our pen tool and just start drawing around the gun. And um, I'm going to go through this pretty fast if you haven't noticed. But go ahead and zoom in and take your time on it and make it look real nice. But um, just to get the gist of it, just, you know, mask it out. And blah, 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 what are you talking about? All right, so we close it off so we only get the gun, so that's good. And now we take this layer, pre-compose it again, moving all the attributes, and we call this the gun masked, okay? So if you want, you can double-click on it, and it's just exactly what we had. But in the gun buildup, this is where we're going to have our effect. So go ahead and search up. Shatter should be in your simulation tab thingy. All right, and we get these cool bricks. And a lot of people have trouble with this because you get an outline. You got to change the view from wireframe to rendered. That's it. So, um, yeah. So we get some cool falling bricks, and that is awesome. We're done. Just kidding. We are going to change the shape. So um, there's a couple cool shapes. I like to use uh, glass. Got some cool triangles and pieces and stuff. One thing is it's shattering from the center and it's pushing it away down there. So we have to go to the force one, change the position to pretty much the center of the gun, right about there. Now you can see it breaks from there and it goes, explodes out like that. Pretty cool. A um, couple things I want to change are the size of the pieces. Right now we got some big pieces, so that's good. I'm gonna later on duplicate this to make tiny pieces to make like to make it look more random. But um, another thing I want to do is because this is gonna be reversed. Um, if I play it backwards, it's coming from below, which kind of looks cool, but I don't like it. I'm gonna go to physics, change the gravity direction from 180 to zero. So at normal speed, it explodes up. And so reverse, it'll come from the ceiling and gather together and go boom. 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 Anyways, um, that's good for right now. Extrusion depth is the uh, size, the depth of your pieces, how thick you want it. And some look cool, some look really weird. So about 0.2 is okay, maybe 0.5. I mean, your gun shouldn't be that thin when you piece it together, you know. Anyways, so that's good. Um, what I'm going to do now is duplicate the mask, or the uh, gun mask. 
and we're going to change the shatter settings in this one. So repetitions, we're going to set this up to maybe 50. See what that looks like. So we get all these really tiny pieces. Probably change extrusion down a little bit. So we get just a whole bunch of tiny little pieces. And it's going to come in together like this and go boom. So a little bit more randomness. I'm going to rotate some stuff. So in the beginning here, we'll go to the thick ones. And we'll go to camera position. And we can mess with the Y rotation. That's cool. We'll go to pretty much the end when everything's gone. Change the Y rotation to, to spin it around. You can kind of see what that does. It's very subtle, but it spins the pieces around. Maybe, maybe bigger than 80 degrees. 180, 200. I see it spinning around. I'm also going to make the um, tiny pieces spin. So go to the tiny pieces, go to camera position, and we'll do X rotation. We'll move forward and just kind of spin it around, not too much, because you'll see that it kind of spins all weird looking like. But just kind of randomize it, and you get a lot of cool spinning effects and all these pieces coming in. So how do we use this? Go back into your main comp, and we have this gun build up in here. We need to reverse this. So we'll go to time. Um, where is it? Time reverse layer. There we go. Now I want this to finish where that frame matches the Twixter. So um, it's it's pretty close. I mean you could try to mess around with it, but it'll be so fast you won't even really see it. Anyways, so um, what I want to do is make the Twixter clip kind of fade in with an opacity fade. So right before it finishes, we'll go T, keyframe, move backwards, and fade it down to zero. So we only get the pieces for a while, and we get a nice smooth opacity fade on, and the pieces come together. Now it is kind of hard to see the pieces when it's all black like this, so I'm going to color correct it with some curves, something easy, put it on the gun build up and punch up the RGB so just so it's kind of bright and you can see what's going on a little bit. The thing is when it uh, comes together the shades don't match anymore. See that? So we can just uh, do keyframe for the curves. Boom! Go forward and set it back to the middle. There you go. So here's a slow motion recap of what we got. All these pieces coming in, right? and the background's fading on and then the curves is fading back to normal and my RAM preview is really pixelated anyways maybe I'll do one quick RAM preview and then we'll be done okay okay so um what's up guys Baker here hope you're enjoying this tutorial pretty cool gun breakup stuff um you could just do a gun explode, I guess. Do it the other way. Don't time reverse it. But that's the basic stuff of this. A freeze frame, and then you got to mask it out, and then use the shatter, and then time reverse it. All these pieces coming in, and it's pretty cool. And then it goes boom. Okay, I'm done, because uh, I feel like I'm talking too much. So... Go ahead and like the video, comment, maybe favorites and stuff. I did make a Facebook fan page, so go ahead and like that so we can talk on there and stuff. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Bye. Peace.